Hey guys, this is Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com and today we're going to take a look at a new watch that I've received in from the Edge Watch Company. Before I get started though guys, can you do me a favor down there in the right hand corner of the screen is that subscribe button. Can you go ahead and smash that guys so you can follow us on into the future. Now, what is the Edge Watch Company? The Edge Watch Company is a from what I can tell, a small company that was started thanks to a Kickstarter campaign by a gentleman by the name of Brandon. Now, Brandon actually reached out to me on social media to see if I'd be interested in taking a look at one of his watches. And being a watch guy, I said, absolutely. I love seeing watches and seeing new things. But today, we're gonna take a look at the Lefty from the Edge Watch Company. All right, so if we want to take a closer look at this Edge watch from the Edge watch company, um, this watch was actually originally thought of because the owner of the watch company came up with the idea that he was sick of bending his wrist and getting that crown stuck in his wrist. So he came up with a design to solve that issue and end the crown marks on your wrist by dealing with a bent wrist and came up with this edge design, which is basically almost like a half moon or half, uh, half diameter, half circle, however you wanna say it, watch. When this watch was originally designed, it was launched via a Kickstarter campaign back in to early 2017. Now, if you first purchase this watch thanks to their Kickstarter campaign, you could actually pick up one of these guys for $49. The biggest thing you'll notice about this watch if you wanna take a walk around it is that case design. With that split case design, it's designed to rest comfortably on your wrist in a bent position. Now, I'll get a picture of this on my wrist here in just a second. But while we're talking about this watch, as I mentioned, this watch was a Kickstarter, originally a Kickstarter campaign uh, to help this guy come to fruition. It's a half moon shape with recessed crown to be able to give you that comfort in the bent wrist position. The glass on this guy is a heat treated mineral crystal and it is domed. You can see it there a little bit and see that mineral crystal domed. The case diameter is 38 millimeters. I'm assuming from here to here, 38 millimeters on this. This watch is run by a Japanese Miyota caliber GL15 movement with a five year battery on it. Now, right off the bat, the one thing I will say about this watch is it's a really, really neat design, really neat concept. Um, for me personally, though, you see this guy on my wrist. For me personally, though, this watch is way, way too small, in my opinion. Um, I think this watch would be much, much cooler if it had a, a much larger diameter, still with the same case design and case shape. Um, but a larger diameter would give this watch a little bit more presence on the wrist. I mean, I have, I have small wrists in general. Uh, I wanna say I'm only at like seven and a half inches at most. And you can see just how small that watch looks on my wrist. So, you know, I think it's a really, really neat design. Uh, however, I think it's a little bit small for my taste. I want to say this band width, which let me just get this off my wrist again and we'll take a look at. This band width is going to be relatively thin. Yep, this band width is only 18 and a half millimeters. So give or take yeah, 18 and a half millimeters on this band width, which for my wrist, when I look at Watches for me personally, even 20 millimeters is a little bit small for me. Um, I much prefer 22 or 24 millimeter wide bands. This watch is very, very thin though. I mean, you can see this watch would fit nicely into my dress watch rotation. Just wish it was a little bit bigger. 
This watch does have raised indices at uh, all of the hour marks and it, there does appear to be loom on both the hour and minute hands as well as all of the hour indices. You can see right there at the six o'clock position, there is a date indicator, which is pretty neat. Definitely uh, like that and the fact that it just wasn't simply a hour and minute hand. So it gives the, the watch face a little bit more. The recessed crown is a pretty neat feature though. I definitely can definitely appreciate that. I can appreciate the, the design aspect that went into building this watch um, and where this watch came from. I mean, it's definitely, you're gonna have a lot of wrist, be able to have a lot of wrist movement with this case design. All right, guys, thank you for sticking around and taking a look at this Edge watch with me from the Edge Watch Company. If you have any questions or thoughts about this watch specifically, definitely post them up in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Is this a watch that you would wear? Is this a watch that you guys would not wear? Personally, for me, I'm not positive it's gonna get a whole lot of wrist time just given the fact that it is so small. Uh, if, the, if the watch itself was a much larger design, I think it would definitely get a lot more wrist time for me, but this is a very, very small watch. And uh, as you guys have seen, I typically prefer bigger watches. Matter of fact, the Swiss military that I'm wearing right now is coming in at 50 millimeters compared to the 39 millimeters, uh, 38 millimeters, 39 millimeters on this lefty edge. Really, really neat concept. Um, the execution seems pretty nice on this uh, between the leather band as well as just the fit and finish of the watch. But for me personally, just not positive. It's one that I would wear on a regular basis. Um, definitely great size for a female hand, uh, female wrists. And I think that's probably what I will do is pass this on to a female to wear. Um, but for me, it's probably not so much. If you guys are interested in this watch though, I'll post up in the comments section below. If you use the coupon code LEFTY, that'll take an additional $40 off of that price uh, right there on the Edge Watch Company's website. So if you guys do like this watch, just because I don't uh, entirely love this watch, doesn't mean that uh, you guys can't snatch one of these up at a great price. If you stick around, I'll get some close up pictures of this as well as some loom shots to see how this guy looks in the dark. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you checking out this watch with me. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, post them up in the comments below. If you want to reach out to me, you can always reach out to me at mywatchaddiction.com. And if you want to see what's on my wrist on a daily basis, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at instagram slash watchaddiction.us. Thank you guys and have a great week.